we went to is Stereoscope Coffee. Okay. And we just got the regular matcha latte that's already sweetened. Mm. Oh wow, it's good. Very milky. Yeah. I think I just personally prefer matcha lattes when it's like a little bit less milky. But it's really good. It's good. If you're not into the whole like tea thing. It's not bitter at all. Yeah, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Alright, well flavor. For me it's like a 3.5. It's good. A little too milky for me. What about you? Same. 3.5 also the same. Yeah. Oh, accessibility. Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good because there's multiple locations. Mmm, yeah, that's a five then. But I'd say, yeah, the Echo Park one, it's like, uh, the parking's not that great, you know? There's one in Bueno Park and there's one, uh, or something. There's like three different locations. Yeah, that's true. It's like a four. Yeah, four. Price? What's 550 for this? I think that's a five. Yeah. Price is good. Yeah. Unless we find something cheaper later on, but. That's true. We'll edit that out if <laughs> that's the case. Okay, on to the next. Darker. Yeah. Oh, I like this lot more. Okay. So this is our second place. Maru coffee. Yes. Maru coffee matcha latte iced um, with oat milk. Okay. Price. It is more expensive. It was six fifty versus no oh, six seventy five versus a five fifty at the what stereoscope. Is this? Stereoscope. This one taste wise, I'm doing like four point five. Yeah, no, I really like it. As you can see, with the colors, there's a lot more matcha. I'm more this matcha. is like more milky, and then this one's more like matcha-y. This one's more bitter, but I think it's a lot better in my opinion and my personal it's more preferences. Refreshing. Yeah, that one's more, more like a, This one's more like desserty. Yeah, that's very like latte-y. Delicious. Yeah, and this is just like sweetened with agave. Yeah, agave. Yeah. Okay, so I would say flavor. I would say like yeah, like really strong four point five too. Yeah. Yeah, and then price, it is on like the steeper side, I'll say. So it's like, I'll give like a... But it's not, it's not $7. You're not hitting $7. That's yet. true. It's still expensive, but I guess all matcha latte is expensive now. Yeah. I'll say like a 3.5. Yeah, 3.5 for... But I would pay more for this. Yeah, exactly. 100%. And then accessibility. Is there, there multiple more? Yes, more there's multiple more. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, that's like and a, like... That's like a four. Yeah. The, we went to the Los Feliz one, Feliz, and the parking was like decent, street yeah. parking. Yeah. yeah. We like this. Overall, very good. Yes, we like this. Very good, very nice. Be jolly. Be jolly. What is this? La La Land. It is the butterfly matcha. Why? Yeah. Phineas is warm. It was good. Tastes like fruity pebbles. Minus a point for saying I love you and giving it to me. It's weird. I enjoy it though. It's pretty good. Marketing, thumbs up. It's very easy to drink. Yeah. It's not too creamy. Mm -hmm. Like it's not too milky and sweet. It's very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It was about like six fifty, six seventy five with tip. That was seven dollars. Like, oh, that was, $7. That was like seven ninety three, six ninety three plus fifty cents tip. Well, very, I thought it was. very expensive. Yeah, I think taste like a four. A solid four. I'm gonna give it a four point two five. Okay. Like it's exactly what it they wanted. Yeah. And it's tasteful. Accessibility, I'm gonna say like a two because it's at the Grove or in Santa Monica. Both places suck. The Santa Monica parking is kind of rough too. Ooh, price expensive. It was expensive. Expensive. Two. It's raining. It's raining and everyone's freaking out. <laughs>
Okay, so we are back at Stereoscope, but this time in Buena Park. And the first time we didn't get the right thing. This time we got it with the what is it called? It was the Nakama matcha, and then like the house Madagascar vanilla, and then oat milk. And, and it's a lot better, as you can see. The green. Yeah, it's much more it's green. So much greener. The first time it was just tastes like milk. Yeah, flavor. I say like a four. That's really good. It is a little, I don't know, it's like that aftertaste is kind of weird. It's like a little bitter. Yeah, maybe they just didn't mix it that well. I don't know. Price, it was $8. What tip? I tipped, so it was $7, I guess like right in the middle range. So give it a four. Mm. Accessibility. I think it's still like a four. It's like yeah. decent, it's everywhere. I like it though. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it just it's definitely just a little expensive. A little expensive, and it's a different flavor compared to what we're used to. Yeah, I don't know if it deserves like the hype hype that it gets. You know, everybody's like, I or, love stereo stuff. Everyone's but I don't... fucking sucking stereoscope's dick, dude. Yeah, well, I don't know if I like. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'd still get Maru coffee. Number one. Yeah, yeah. Maru coffee's number one still. As much as we say. it's it's not as good as the That's other one. Good. It's still pretty fucking good, so. Uh, the rest. No, I drank most of it. I know, I drank a huge chunk just now.